Hi, this is Chris Plowman with Jai Crispy Consulting, and in this video I'm going to show you how to deal with merge conflicts in Mercurial uh, using the tools in Tortoise HG. I'm building off of a previous demo, so if you haven't seen it, let me quickly go over this demo directory. The share folder is representing a network share that everyone would have access to. So this is the main shared repository that everyone can work with. Then I've created two user directories that would simulate the clients who have their own copies or clones of the repository. So let me go into one. And at this point, all of the repositories are the same. They're all in sync. So I'm gonna open up the solution and just let you see what it looks like. So that's it, that's our project as it looks right now. So now I'm working on as the user Bob so Bob's going to go in and he's going to update some of the content on this home page. He's going to say this is Bob's content. Save that. And he's done. He'll check in the solution. So he's going to commit it to his local repository. And now he's happy with that. So he wants everyone else to be able to see those updates. So the repository explorer gets open and he's gonna push those changes up to the shared. Meanwhile, let's say Jane does a very similar change. So opening up Jane's version of the application, we can go in and Jane wants to add her own content. Save that. And Jane is happy with that, so she's gonna commit it to her local repository. And now let's say she's ready to, to share that change with everyone else. So she's going to open up the repository explorer. But before she pushes, so go ahead and pull in any changes that she's missing. So she sees that Bob's change and her change show as different paths. So she needs to merge those together before she can push her change up. So select, say merge with. And because there's a conflict here, both Bob and Jane made a very similar change to the same file. Uh, Mercurial doesn't know what to do with this, so it says you have to manually review this file and figure out what the correct update should be. So using this tool, we see here in what was says A, the A window has the original version before the, any of the updates were made. In our B window, we have Jane's updates, and in our C window, we have Bob's updates. Down at the bottom, we have the result of our merge. So right now we see there's a merge conflict. So to resolve the conflict, we'll just right click and we're gonna say select lines from B, that's Jane's content, and then we'll also select lines from C. So we'll have both Jane and Bob's content. Save that, close. And now the conflict has been resolved, the merge is complete, commit that change. And finally, Jane can push this all up to the main repository. And finally, if we go back over to Bob, he can open up his repository explorer, pull in the incoming change sets, and we'll see that merge. And just to see what that would look like, we open it up, go into the application, and we see, yes, indeed, we have both Jane and Bob's content, and we can run that. And there's our content with no merge conflicts. That is all it takes to correct any merge conflicts in your repositories. Thank you very much for watching.